Morning fellas, uh, getting a little late start. I'm doing some other things around the house. And it's about 84 out, or in the garage. It's supposed to be cool. Uh, somewhat cooling down. Yeah, I finally got my car washed. But uh, yeah, looks to be a John Kerry day today. During the week, I uh, pulled all this out down there in the bottom of the shelf and uh, cleaned off the bottom of the shelf packed it repacked it all back in there way in the back back there is my dad's old toolbox I had forgotten I had that so during the week after work I'm going to take this shelf was the next one then this shelf is the next one and then that shelf is the next one and clean it and see get the junk out and everything else and it enabled me to back the welder back up into its little home and was able to give me a little bit more room around in the garage which we can greatly use hey fellas I got these hinges from classic industries yeah classic industries so let's see single hinge upper right hand okay lower right hand all right upper left hand here we are <coughs> If I can do this one handed. Yeah, that's a. This is epoxy. And this is 2K. Need to throw these out. <coughs> well, those look like good pieces. new one definitely works a lot better than the uh, this one but uh, Nick rare rat I'll still send these to you uh, I'll pack them up in the uh, original boxes and uh, use the same box that uh, came from uh, classic industries and send it back to you so yeah definitely like the new piece so as always thanks for watching when I have more I'll turn this back on later guys Hey fellas, here's the left side bottom, and it looks like it's been removed once. And we still have the classic nut and bolt repair. And let's see what the new one looks like. I'd say it's a nicer piece. Doesn't have the classic nut and bolt repair. So we'll get this one mounted up. Then we'll drill the holes. We already did that on the upper. We'll drill the alignment holes. And then we'll pull her back off. When I get more, I'll turn this back on later. All right, fellas, the alignment holes have been drilled. As you can see, and it's 
been pretty good. Got everything off. I got the door straight off. Got the light switch out. So gotta go to the get some DA paper, some 180 grit. We'll hit the door skin. Then we'll start working on this on the jam crush panel. We need to put the uh, cow panel up somewhere. I haven't figured out where. And uh, when I do, we'll move that up because we need to start working on the top here too because we're going to paint that too as well. So this is probably going to be, this side will probably take uh, this weekend and maybe next weekend we'll be laying paint down. Uh, just because the fact is I'm going slow and uh, taking my time on it. Uh, the passenger side might go a little faster because I've already done the driver's side. So, all right. So when I get more, I'll turn this back on. Later, guys. Hey, fellas. <clears throat> all right, hit this door with 180 grit. Now, I, I have never body worked this door at all. Uh, one, about a year ago, year and a half ago, uh, I finally got to the doors to where it knocked down the surface rust with 80 grit, and I just squirted some old primer I had on it and that was just to protect it but as you can see here it's a uh, bondo or body filler over rust and right in here there's something going on i don't know what it is but yeah, let's see it's pretty straight but there's something something going on in here so probably some more body filler right in here we'll take a look but other than that it, she's pretty well straight so I'm gonna have to work on this and this is right on the uh, body line so that's gonna be a pain so I'm probably gonna end up knocking this down I might get the 80 grit out and sit there and just knock this down and see what I got but I'm gonna do it by hand and not with the DA so I could sit there and not have to do too much repair to the to the body line but uh, yeah we'll uh, do the door then we'll start stripping the jam to taking care of the jams but the uh, door is going to have most of the work the jam is just clean up more or less than uh, than anything else so as always thanks for watching when I have more I'll turn it back on later guys hey fellas see yeah I got the first coat of mud on I dug all that stuff out of there uh, all the rust and everything and got it cleaned up sprayed it with some uh, uh, God, where is that? Where that rust converter and wiped it down and cleaned it up and we got a coat of filler on it and then I put a coat of filler on this area right in here something's going on in there found this place to sit there and store the cow panel for a little bit right up there that is the glass for the Camaro uh, the side glass at least I have no windshield or, or rear window and I'm going to get the it's a aftermarket kit it's called the surface mount it'll turn around looking like that in the so We'll let this set up. Uh, Little League World Series has started. I want to go in there and do that. Uh, Mountain View Little League from Las Vegas is in the championship game, so be a first for us. So definitely going to go in and watch a little bit of it while this sets up. And then we'll come out and we'll hit her with 80 grit and then 180 and see where we're at. As always, thanks for watching. When I have more, I'll turn this back on. Later, guys. Hey fellas, well it's going on two and I got to get cleaned up. The wife and I are going to an early dinner. Uh, and the body line here, I still have this side to work. A little something going on right in there. But this side is great. It's in a 180 scratch. Down here is good. We still got a little something going on here. Hit it with some more 180. Then we'll flip the door over and get all the edges and the sides down here all in 180. And the door will be done. 
and we'll do that tomorrow and then we'll start on the uh, the jams like I said as I suspect this side will take at least two weekends for me because of the other obligations I have to do uh, tomorrow night will be another early night because Wednesday was my wife's birthday and I usually take her out to dinner and also it happens to be the same day of my wife's birthday is my daughter-in-law's birthday so those two girls get to pick and me and my oldest son we take them out to dinner for their birthday so that'll be another you know day tomorrow cut short because of getting cleaned up for dinner so I'll load this up you guys have a good one and uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow later oh well, one quick note guys uh, picked up a couple of these in my travels it's a bottle opener mounts like so looks to be cast so I think I got about eight of them I'm sending one for sure to John Kerry so John this will be in the mail one of these will be in the mail to you yeah I got a bunch of them one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. About eight of them. So, if anybody wants one, uh, send me a PM. I'll get it off in the mail to you. So, uh, John, now you'll be able to open the beer one-handed. All right, guys. Let me up let me upload this onto YouTube later. <laughs>